The story begins showing a mother and her son are trapped inside a burning building in Washington, D.C. Heat Blast emerges and saves them, returning the two to the ground safely while capturing to breathe with his fire skills. He makes an effort to appear heroic and stoic, but is soon overcome by surprise when the youngster he saved shows up with a rare gold sumo slammer card that he won as a serial reward. As the fire was a deliberate ruse to divert attention from a jewelry shop haste, Gwen and Max drove up to fetch him up. Heat Blast follows the criminal's getaway vehicle in the RV. He launches a fireball at the automobile while hanging out the side, bringing it to a stop. Prior to the arrival of the police, Heat Blast coerces the thieves into exiting the vehicle and turning themselves in. But the Omnitrix beats Red and switches Heat Blast back to Ben, who is not at all frightening. A police officer orders Ben to move aside as he begins to modestly claim credit for stopping them. Ben becomes irate, because of course, no one will think he was the hero. A man called Roger repeatedly knocks on a flat door in a separate area of Washington, but receives no response, so he opens the door for himself. He walks by a number of frightening cases and cages filled with various creatures. He is suddenly surprised by the tenant of the flat, a Dr. Aloysius of Nemo, who is a furious, pale-skinned man. He commands people to go and not interfere with his job or studies. His landlord, Roger, puts a stop to it and asks that he pay the past due rent. Dr. Anemo sets a frog down and chooses to demonstrate his invention to Roger while donning a strange-looking helmet and vest. It is described as a transmodulator capable of causing genetic changes. When Roger laughs at it, it is applied to the frog by Dr. Anemo, who causes it to expand enormously. The doctor giggles as it manipulates Roger in its mouth and says that he just needs a few more parts to finish his project. When a promo for a brand new superstore named Megamart appears on his TV at that same moment, he notices it. Ben notices the cereal where the gold sumo slimer card may be won when the Tennysons are shopping in the Megamart themselves. Ben changes into Grey Matter, a little extraterrestrial that can fit within the boxes. When the shop manager approaches from behind, Gwen is compelled to hide Grey Matter and accept the blame after she discovers him opening practically every item in the aisle. Ben pretends to feel awful since he believes he deserves that card for his bravery, forcing Max to purchase a large quantity of empty cereal boxes. Ben is left alone in the department by Max and Gwen, but Dr. Anemo bursts in with his mutant frog and takes several things. He is unable to stop Ben because of his act as Grey Matter, which put the Omnitrix in recharge mode. Gwen and Max are startled when Anemo enters the pet department and begins altering a hamster and a parrot there. Ben enters just as the doctor is outlining his goals for reclaiming what is rightfully his and introducing himself. Ben comes up with a creative solution to attract and capture the hamster using a football and a motor scooter. On the back of the mutant parrot, the enraged Anemo makes the threat to transform Washington, D.C. into Washington, B.C. Ben is about to ask for the gold sumo slammers card when Max pulls him away. The store owner offers a prize for rescuing the business. Max notes that the pursuit of the mutant parrot in the rust bucket reminds him of his working days before retiring, which baffles Gwen because Max was a plumber. Max responds to Ben's whining about not receiving compensation for his problems by saying that being a hero and knowing that you have done good is itself a reward. Anemo was a veterinary scientist who conducted genetic experiments and grew upset when he didn't receive an award, according to Gwen, who stops by to share what she's learned about him. Max loses track of Anemo, but Ben realizes he's going to the Natural History Museum after thinking about the doctor's advice. After finishing his work on his transmodulator, Anemo has finished the museum and they move inside. He revives a mammoth in the display and leaves it to deal with them while he flees because he now has the ability to reanimate dormant cells. While Gwen and Max pursue Anemo, Ben changes into four arms and uses them to wrestle the mammoth to the ground. They discover him riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex out of the museum on its back after resurrecting it from its bones. Gwen is taken hostage by the mutant parrot, which flies in. Four arms pursues, but is unable to win Gwen back, as a Nemo attacks the T-Rex and catches a gold card in the T-Rex's toe while running through a Sumo Slammer's card stand. Ben and Max search for Gwen. Ben receives a piece of paper from Max that a Nemo dropped while making his getaway from the museum. It discusses details of the guy named Dr. Kelly, who accepted the medal in Anemo's stead. They understand that Anemo is after this person. The mutant parrot perches atop the Washington Monument at the same moment, still holding Gwen. She informs Ben and Max of her position via her cell phone in an emergency. Ben transforms into the flying extraterrestrial Stinkfly just as she is about to fall, saving her. Stinkfly is attacked by the parrot, and as he fights the bird while towing Gwen, Max ascends to the top of the monument. Stinkfly dumps Gwen off at one of the observation windows after spotting Max there. He can take down the mutant parrot without the added weight. 
Then Max orders him to pursue a Nemo. When a Nemo enters and grabs the prize, Dr. Kelly is giving a group of visitors a tour of Kelly Industries. Kelly is saved from the T-Rex by Stinkfly, who comes just in time. Stinkfly is knocked to the ground by the T-Rex, along with the gold Sumo Slammers card. While Kelly is going to be devoured by the T-Rex, he may still catch it. He regrets having to pick one over the other, and decides to save Kelly, burying the card in the process. Stinkfly steals the transmodulator after dodging a Nemo's strikes and breaking his prize. When he throws it to the ground, it produces a pulse that restores normal behavior to every creature that Animo had used it on. Later, Animo continues to yell about how the trophy should be his as the cops lead him away. Ben's realization of how fixated he was as a result of his remarks resonates with him. Ben acknowledges that preserving the city really is its own reward and preserves the transmodulator as a memento. Ben calls Gwen a dweeb after she thanks him for saving her, and they continue to call each other insults as they leave, and the story ends with this. <laughs>